Hello everybody, this is Dreamgiver back to kick off round one, part two of the Excellent Eggs Tournament. And yes, part one was very exciting, wasn't it? You never know what you're gonna get. It's like it's like you crack open an egg and you don't know what animal's coming out. It could be a snake, a chicken, a bird, or a lizard, a frog. On to our three matches of this session. So up first, we are going to see the Alpha Egg going up against the Fire Egg. Second up, we will see the Secret Egg number one going up against the Grass Egg. And lastly, but not least, we'll have kind of a derby match, a continental clash between South America and North America. So I hope you're stoked for that. I'm actually really looking forward to this third match. Let's not talk about these matches. Let's get on with them, shall we? So we will start with Alpha Egg going up against the Fire Egg. All right, ooh, out in the red corner, in the Alpha Arena, we have Alpha Ruhusaurus. Yes, all these alpha dinosaurs will have alpha moves. Alright, now the moment of truth. Does it have alpha acrocamphosaurus? Oh, it does! Ooh, it could be very interesting. The alpha egg drawing a doozy there. The alpha acrocamphosaurus. I mean, the moveset... I think it would have been better on the if it, if it came in first. Because it obviously is not going to get many support moves off, whereas Woohoosaurus would have. So I think if the order was switched, that would have been better for the alpha egg, but... Hey, at least they got off for Acrocamphosaurus. It's a 1 in 7 chance. Right, as for the Fire Egg in the blue corner, we got a Dustbeatosaurus in first. Ooh, the Fire Egg drawing good ones as well. Yes, it does have Fire Bombs, so that's good. This Dustbeatosaurus is going to be deadly. Who else does it have? Oh, it's, oh, it's got Silvers! Okay, I, I still think the Fire Egg's going to win. It's got the Kark. And I believe this Kark... Has heat eruption. But it's a car. It's gonna be good. Although it, these two might be blitz types, so that does kinda suck. Okay, they're different types. So the fire egg drawing some good dinosaurs there. That Displetosaurus is gonna be the big threat. This is gonna be very interesting. Oh my god, please don't be a sex. Oh, I forgot he got Dino Stuffer. <laughs> I forgot the Woo Saurus has Dino Stuffer. No, 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 there's Plutosaurus. No, 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 no. Well, Woo Saurus avoided that firebomb. And start, and we start with a tie. Oh, mm, guess Plutosaurus is getting the first hit. Not much damage dealt, though. Oh, we got a support effect. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of volcano bursts. Kakirodontosaurus coming in here to help his ta tag partner. Okay, I think a slightly more damage, and then we can attempt to swap out with Woohoosaurus. Ooh, Woohoosaurus getting a hit back. Boosh! I think all these are poison types, so... Yeah, poison will be a thing for these alpha dinosaurs. Magma Blaster getting triggered there. Oh, that's a tie, and that should put the Woohoosaurus below half health. So he will now attempt to swap into Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Ooh, and he gets the swap. I wonder if that'll reset the dino stuff. I don't think it will, though. But Alpha Acrocanthosaurus coming in to face this Pleto. Oh, poor Dispidiosaurus. It attempted to swap out, but the Alpha Acrocanthosaurus is having none of it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, what my wish? Oh, yes, yes, eh? Don't know why. I'm having a little bit of lag on this end. Audio lag on this emulator lately. Don't know what it is. And all the more while, the Woohoosaurus is healing up again. Expect some support effects from Woohoosaurus. Ooh, the Displetosaurus gets the next hit. Fire Egg. Oh my god, another support effect from the Kark. Alpha Acrocanthosaurus going up in flames. He's like, Igorus, he flew too close to the sun. Oh, there's another hit from our Alpha Acro. Boosh. Wow, no earth barrier effect. 
Oh, oh, there goes the rocket. So Dusplesaurus is actually dead. So Kakuridontosaurus, it's got to take on Alpha Acrocanthosaurus and Woohoosaurus. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what is this guy's technique? It's like 400. He's getting off volcano burst support effects. He's getting off heat eruption. What is this madness? And yes, you can see the audio lag is really bad. Particularly with the fire dinosaurs. Nothing we can do about that, I'm afraid. Okay, this Acrocanthosaurus is not doing too well there. He needs to swap out into his little munchkin. Oh, no swap out this time. But he does get the swap out this time as an ACT rocket enters the atmosphere. Well, it goes up into the atmosphere and it will come down and do some damage on the car. And Woohoosaurus will come in, which will mean that the Alpha Acro will heal up. Unless the cat can kill this Woohoosaurus quick. And no, the Dino Stuffer is in fact gone. Oh, it's a crit, it's a softening beam. Analyzing the Kakirodontosaurus here, weakening him during ties. Good hit there by the Woohoosaurus. And yes, these guys, even though they don't have a super move, can still get support effects off. That is still a thing. Oh wow, that was loads of damage. Oh, 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 I forgot about the rocket. Oh, Alpha Egg wins. <laughs> and the Alpha Egg wins mainly because it drew Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Although, if that firebomb had hit, it would have been a different game. Because that Woohoosaurus probably would have died and it would not have got the swap out. You know, that dino stuff are probably key in that match. But a very good win for the Alpha Egg. As for the Fire Egg, even though it drew, drew two decent dinosaurs, it's bowing out at the first round, which is kind of disappointing. But, you know, we got to have, with his winners, there's losers. Right, on to our next matchup now, which sees the Secret Egg going up against the Grass Egg. Now, the thing with the Secret Egg is that there's only three dinosaurs, so the randomness isn't going to be there as much. But, at first, for the Secret Egg, we have Dinonychus. Dinonyxa. Okay, so I'm going to assume it's the Crisis type one. So he does not have spin in it. Interesting. And he will be backed up by a Pachycephalosaurus. Although I will say, one disadvantage the Secret Dinosaur do have in this tournament, because it's a tag team tournament, they don't get support moves. So I suppose that is a disadvantage of the Secret Egg. But I still say that the Secret Egg is going to be the, is the tournament favourite. Ooh, we got a Fukuisaurus for the Grass Egg. It's gonna be a, could be a tough one for the Grass Egg here, thank you. Because they drew Fukuisaurus, it really needs good dinosaurs to stand up to these two secret powerhouses. Although I tell you what, this Fukuisaurus got a lot of power to it. Pretty impressive. And it's backed up by a Guanodon. Okay, so we might see some support moves from these two. Not sure how well Super Impact's gonna be on this guy, but oh well. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be a tough one for the Grass Egg. Well, with a start like that, you never know. The Grass Egg gets the first hit. Dynonica strikes back. Boosh! Well, hopefully we'll see a couple of secret moves get triggered. Oh, there we go. There is a dynamic galaxy getting triggered. Not going for it, though. And that was a wise decision, because Dynonica gets another hit on the board. Ooh, Emerald Garden has been triggered. Now, this could be interesting. If Fukuisaurus gets a hit here, he will swap out and heal up, so... This could be a pivotal moment in this match. Oh, it's a tie. Well, there's a chance missed for Emerald Garden. But the Fukuisaurus still has a chance to swap out. Which he doesn't get. 
It's Dynamic that's getting another hit. A crit on the board to finish the sequel you saw us off. Heal up a bit with Lillian Cure and get a cheap shot that the Iguana done. Yeah, this Deinonychus is very sweeping. It's sweeping so far. The Grass Egg just cannot get a hit on this Deinonychus. Ties are wearing it down, but the Deinonychus is getting the hits. And yeah, they, okay, I think this is it. <laughs> wow. The Deinonychus, the Secret Egg is sweeping up so far. Wow, loads of damage done. Card Iguanodon, get a hit on the board. At least take this guy's health below half. That's a tie. But again, ties ain't gonna do anything. And yet, yeah, there it is. Wow. A dominant display by the Deinonychus, and a very, very comfortable win for the secret egg. The Pachycephalosaurus wasn't even needed. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? Yeah, the Grass Egg didn't really get a good draw there. Against the Secret Egg, you really need good dinosaurs. Otherwise, it's going to be very tricky for you to get past them. But, yep, quick as a wink, Secret Egg dispatching the Grass Egg. Now then, the match I'm looking forward to the most in this session, a continental clash between the South America Egg and the North America Egg. Well, this is going to be very interesting. Right, in the red corner, for the South America Egg, we have the Giganonosaurus. And, well, I knew, and I think the second one is either a Margosaurus, Patagosaurus, or Irritator. So it is a water dinosaur. I mean, we knew, knew, knew this one because he's the only fire dinosaur in that one. Oh, it's Patagosaurus for the, for the dino number two? Um, uh, probably would have preferred a Margosaurus or something, but oh well, Patagosaurus it is. Expect to see it get off some Aqua Javelins. And it does have the type advantage over one of the fire, over the, one of the North America egg dinosaurs, which I know is a fire dinosaur. Ah, that's a bugger, it's Carifosaurus. In the blue corner for the North America one egg, we have Carifosaurus, and I know the second one is a fire dinosaur, and it's a T-Rex. Pretty sure. Be interesting to see how that two platoon crush fares. Cruisosaurus could be a powerhouse this. And he is backed up by the one and only, the Tyrannosaurus. Now that is probably the best draw that you could get for the North America egg. That fire cannon, the attack burst. That T-Rex is not to be trifled with. And yes, it's Goma versus Spectre. Well, hey, <laughs> should be the other way around because Spectre's supposed to use the North America eggs, and Goma's supposed to. Use... Spectre's supposed to use the South America eggs, and Goma's supposed to use the North. But oh well. Oh, we start with a tie. Ooh, Carithosaurus gets the first hit. And there's a crit, and Prefosaurus has a good crit. This atomic bomb's gonna do damage. A lot of damage. And this is gonna add to our damage as well. A strong start from the North America egg. Oh, that's a tie. Captain the Giga get away and swap into his partner. Well, so far, no, he can't seem to get a hit on the board. Oh, he can't! Carithosaurus takes out the Giga and will get a free hit on the Patagosaurus, who has to fight alone. Well, this is exactly what the North America egg wants. Now he can chip up, they can chip away at this Patagosaurus, so the T-Rex won't have too much to do. Ooh, Patagosaurus getting that crit on the board. The Tutu Dive coming in as well. Can they turn this around? Push. No Aqua Javelin, though. Oh, that's a tie. 
Another tie. Can Pathicosaurus stop this Kerithosaurus from swapping out? The answer is no. Kerithosaurus will get off an atomic bomb as well. And we saw how much damage I did to the Giga. And this Kerithosaurus is counter type, so it's going to do even more damage. Wow. Wait, it might be dead. The T Rex wasn't even needed. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> well, that was quick, wasn't it? The Tyrannosaurus not even needed. Kerithosaurus cleaning house with his atomic bombs. Now that is the difference between a getting a good draw and not a good draw. The South America egg didn't get the dinosaurs they probably wanted, mainly Carnotaurus, Megaraptor, and the North America egg, not that it needed it, got the T-Rex. And the very powerful Kerithosaurus, apparently. <laughs> I was kind of disappointed. I was, exp I was hoping it would be much more of an intriguing match. But oh well, that is how it is. A lot of one-sided matches in this tournament. But that is the risk of having it, of using egg cards. Right, we will have a look at who got through. And we will end the session. Well, there are three combatants that made it through this bracket. The Alpha Egg scraping past the Fire Egg in the, in the first match. The Secret Egg dominating the Grass Egg in the second match. And the North America egg getting the job done against the South America egg. And yeah, well, I seen out of these three, I, it's probably going to be the secret egg. I see no hope for the Alpha egg. Like, all of its hope hinge on getting Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. And it's already got it once. And I don't fancy its chances of getting it again. But yeah, that is it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, com comment, do whatever you want to do with yourself. And stay tuned for next time where we conclude round one with these free matches. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out. Mm -hmm.